Motion to approve the agenda as printed. So moved. Second. I'll second. Moved and seconded to approve the agenda as printed. All in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed nay. Approve the minutes from the last meeting. I'll make the motion to approve the minutes from the last meeting. Second. I'll second it. Moved and seconded to approve the minutes from last meeting. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed nay. You want to shut your cell phone off? <laughs> so do I. <laughs> don't act right. No, no. So so don't go on that one. That was wrong. <laughs> okay. Uh, payroll. Uh, is it fishing? 701. That's what I thought. I have uh, handed in the time cards, but I have not had a chance to go through the uh, register yet. Uh, Francis, bills to be paid. Yeah, on uh, docks we can add another two hundred and forty dollars. That was for uh, concessions for the pool. So that changes our number at the bottom to uh, one six three zero seven nine point one two. Any other questions for Francis on the bills that we paid? All those electric supplies are for the new, all new Yeah, the, the, there. there's three there for, for TNR, and the third one, the bottom one, is actually for testing the oil and the, um, the sub transformers. Like we, sub -transformers. We, we have that done once a year just to make sure that they're still okay, and, and they are. Any other questions? Yeah, that, that TNR electric there, Gary, that uh, 33 or 34,000, yeah. whatever that is. That is uh, most of the uh, transformers and the two, two switches. Switches, right. And most of that stuff we'll use next year in our project. So mm -hmm. you got to remember, you know, some of that stuff we talked, I don't know if it was last, last uh, meeting or the meeting before that, but some of that $154,000 of material that we're buying, a lot of that isn't going to be used even this year. No, I that's mean, for that's upcoming, there, so. upcoming years. So, oh, well, we're trying to stay ahead of the game. <clears throat> well, it does two things. We'll get it bought. Yeah, it does two things. It, it beats the price increase, which you know you're going to have. Yep. And then it, we've got it here. If we, we can, need it. we can install it whenever we want. If we need it, right. Any other questions? Make a motion to approve the bills. Second. <coughs> I'll second it. Moved and seconded to approve the bills as printed. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed nay. Discuss did you approve. vote on that or did you abstain? Aye. I <laughs> uh, discuss and approve year-end clerk's report. The agenda. <laughs> There's some changes that Chris said he has oh, made. Yeah. Sorry, I'll quit screwing around here. Uh, first thing I want to talk to you guys about uh, if you remember at the last meeting, we talked a little bit about the $737,000 that we went backwards uh, last year. Um, and so if you look at the very top of page five, uh, instead of just telling you, you know, that we, we lost money here, we lost money there, I thought I would put that in something that you guys could actually see. Uh, so if you look at urban renewal up there at the top, that's our, the new addition that we made. Um, <clears throat> and... The revenue uh, that we had come in was for lot sales. Um, the whole the bond that we bonded for that was in the prior year, so the expense that we had um, actually was all because um, we we just saved the forty thousand dollars that we had in lot sales. Uh, so there was a sixty thousand dollar difference there. Park renovation was about two hundred thousand, roughly, of a difference, um, and then our electric bond that we paid off early. Uh, obviously, there was no revenue for that. We've been saving that for uh, a couple years. And then uh, electric material that we bought at the end of the year. And, uh, and then the CDBG, uh, the finishing up of the CDBG. Uh, so if you look at that, uh, and you look at the balance over at the right-hand side there, about $110,000 is what, uh, you know, had we not done any of this stuff that we did, we would have been to the good $110,000, which is generally about where we're at when we finish up the year, right around that $110,000 mark after we transfer money and, and do what we do. 
So, so I just wanted to explain that to you first off. Um, and then, <clears throat> second, this is, this is a clerk's report that you guys approved at the last meeting. And we had a couple of, uh, couple of small changes that I wanted to, uh, to just show you guys. So if you go to page 10, uh, it's highlighted in green so you won't be able to miss it um, unless you're colorblind. Uh, you look at the new Shelter House Electric, Parks H2O, and Parks Gas. Um, that, that's all for our Shelter House, and that was all new, I don't know, probably in January or February. I don't remember exactly when we did that. But when you make a new number, if you don't go into the computer, if I don't go into the computer and tell it to print out on this sheet, it won't print. Now, the numbers are in the totals, and so the totals were all uh, correct. The totals for, um, for the general fund were all correct, but you just couldn't see this part of it. Where it was de delegated. Right. So uh, I found it as I was doing some reconciliation and moving some stuff around for our, for our year end. So, uh, so that's one thing. Uh, then if you look on page 11 at Urban Renewal, uh, there was a uh, electric contract, contractual services uh, was, was entered into Urban Renewal. So I moved that uh, to about almost $3,000, moved that uh, out of there. And then uh, at the bottom of page 11, credit card fee transactions. Um, that was not on the original report. That's kind of the same thing as the first thing I told you about. It's a new number, so I had to go in there and tell it to print out. Um, page 16, uh, we had training classes uh, in our electric. That wasn't on the original report. Um, and then down below that a little bit, our 12.5 rebuild was, uh, originally it was $130,000 and, and now it's 126, so that was a little bit different. Um, so all in all, it didn't really change a lot. It, it did change um, some of the ending fund balances just a little bit, a uh, couple thousand dollars here and there. So, and that's the reason why I had to, had to go in there and change that stuff because um, you guys approved some transfers, like an $83,000 transfer into our garbage fund. So when I was going to do those transfers, it didn't come out exactly right. So then I had to, had to go in here and do some, tell it to print some stuff so that I knew I knew what the actual numbers were, so basically fine tuned. Uh, yeah, really, really fine tuned it is is all I really did. But uh, I didn't want to do that and then not tell you guys about it. So, so we're right now. You think, Chris? So we're right. We're yeah, Gary. We're right now. Yeah. Page twenty-one. Yeah. Um, actually, if you guys don't mind, I wouldn't wouldn't mind approval of this final. Clerk's report. Okay, you want to go through page 21 first, or do you want to take the motion first? 21 is the, the beginning of uh, the new year. The, the, the new, new clerk's year. report? Yeah. Okay, sorry. I didn't know if that was that's on okay. the tail end or if that was. No, that's the. Uh, we approve the changes. I'd second that. <coughs> Motion's been made and seconded to amend the uh, previous. Year end. Year end report. Clerk's year, clerk's year end report to uh, what has been shown us tonight. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed nay. Okay, now I'll start on the new one, Chris. Yeah. Um, okay, so that starts on page 21. Uh, and if you look there, kind of in the middle of that page, that $156,000 that we moved over to. Uh, from savings to the checking account. That's all uh, rebuild material and the track, uh, the racetrack, the projects that we had 
down there uh, and all of that money came out of the wind generator account so um, that account is down to right now it's down to seven thousand um, dollars that's that's what needs to stay in there uh, we'll have to pull a little bit more out because there's a couple of bills that we have to pay for the track project yet um, but I'm gonna go to the bank then uh, oh and you need to do that too Rob uh, just so you know, uh, go to the bank Thursday morning to borrow that money for our rebuild project. And it's going to be roughly $185,000. I don't have the exact numbers. Is this thing on? My thing says my battery's on. That switch on the other side is on. Yep. There we go. <laughs> you light up my man. You got it. I can see. Okay. Uh, Okay, so so that's what that is. Um, go down from there a little ways. Transfer from TIF, that $15,500 that we paid our rebate payments to Cook's Cookie and uh, Corn Belt. Corn Belt. So we page transferred on. that out of our TIF. 21. 21. Yeah, page 21 at the bottom of page 21 there, Gary. So that's what that's on there for. Yeah. Um, now we can go to 22. And uh, what I want to show you in here, look at the bottom of that, uh, those paid, that, that, those words and numbers there, bond reserve fund, that was the $69,000 CD that we had, cash that in, put that right in the savings account right below it. We talked about putting that in there because that's a, an account that we don't generally do Touch. anything with. Yeah, so we'll save that. <clears throat> um, the community center main savings fund says it's got $28,000 in it. We're going to pull $24,500 out of that uh, for the uh, parking at the shelter house. But then as soon as we do that, we're going to put a $10,000 check back in there because we got $10,000 from Bill Renzi for that project. So that helps. Yeah, it's not, it's not as much as, as I wanted, but... Uh, it helps. So you get you get the letter as soon as she gets a copy. You get a copy of it. Yeah. Um, one other thing I want to tell you too is, uh, if you notice our TIF account, we got one hundred nineteen thousand dollars in there. Um, this fall, when we get our TIF money in, that all is going to go probably right into our savings. Uh, I I don't think we're going to have the ability to to save the money that we normally save this month. Um, it's just been, you know, we, we've had too many things go on and, uh, so I think what we're going to do is take that TIF money uh, that we certified for, um, electrical thing. Yeah, it was electric, the well, the well, yeah, the well. uh, we're going to take that money and we're going to put it right into savings. Um, and then, uh, and and then the, the next spring, the same thing will happen again. That TIF money will go right into our general fund. And uh, that'll be for our well, too. So, And you can see on there the savings wind turbine is $7,074.91. We'll replenish that when we get our funds Thursday. Well, Chris, that's... The $10,000 pretty nice though. Oh, yeah. Now we got to send them thank you or something. That was nice. We gotta do, uh, what did we get last year, 12? Uh, no, the library got it last year, and uh, I think they got 18000 Last year? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. The library got got everything that Wallet got last year, so. Okay. Um, it's like. Uh, it's like uh, Ron and I were talking before the meeting. Chris is doing a really good job as far as writing grants because without the grants, we wouldn't get anything would we, Ron? We were talking about that earlier, and so kudos to Chris. I really appreciate you writing a good grant, Chris. Well, thank you for saying that, Steve, and, you know, I guess... Well, I've been approached by people and say, we do not need a person in Chris's position and a person in Lynn's position. And I say, well, you're crazy. Yeah. You know, <laughs> because, yeah. Yeah. number one... You know, I mean, I mean, if we would list all the grants that we've gotten in the last year, 
we would see that number two if we would list all the things that we've done with natural gas and with electric and, and those kind of things I think they'd see that too but you know they, they seem to think that we need to go back to the old ways like some of these gentlemen up here on the wall were mayors that had time to do the stuff weren't working a full-time job you know and, and had time to do a lot more than what our mayor does and I'm not saying you're doing a bad job you're doing a great job you know hey, but thank you have you. a full-time job you know so I think that we've moved into a different era here and we just need to have that person there and I think that all the things that have been done you know I pretty much pay for Chris's salary so I don't know I'm well the rules and the regulations have brought me up <coughs> that too that you know with the grants you got to go to school to even to write a grant anymore and then Lynn is doing a super job as far as customer relations and stuff working be behind the counter so we're just lucky we got Gil Ramsey and them kind of grants around. Honestly, we really are. Yeah. Yeah. Well, my gosh. Well, my gosh, there's two of the big well, ones. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the gambling money never hurts, but you got to have matching funds. You know, we actually have a $10,000 here sitting here that we're trying to create a hundred dollar fund for the city, too. That'd be nice. So, when, you know, you, as you get on in years, think about it. Think about it. Think about it. Turn it over the Gary Faber Foundation. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and, and honestly, yeah. maybe we could get corn back up to five or six. <laughs> but, but honestly, you know, you yeah. think about that, and I mean, we're we're joking about Gary giving money right now, but you know, in the future, uh, that's really a smart thing for Gary to do because yeah. there's a twenty five percent tax credit on any money that you give to an endow an endowment like that, you know. So say, I mean, we've got a lot of farmers that live around here that are older farmers. You know, they could give ten thousand dollars each, and not bad at night. Twenty five hundred dollar uh, tax reduction for them, and yeah. uh, you know, make a big difference. Obviously. Ten thousand dollars, ten times is is a lot of money. Probably, probably our biggest trouble, like all of the people that are really out pushing for that kind of money, they got somebody hired or somebody going around asking people to do something like that, sure. and it's a little tough for us to do that. Yeah. It would be um, nice, but, but you just can't. <laughs> well, I know, but it's just something that we yeah. now have the fund created, yeah. and we need to set up some bylaws. Then you so something next to kind of roll the ball, and that's what we think you You could have some rules behind it before yeah. you go pay some money. I hear you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know? So yeah. but you, that's you, our next step. You know, yeah. I and mean, we could we could surely visit the uh, Wilma Gosh Foundation people or the Gil Renzi Foundation yeah. people, find out what it is that we need to do before we go ahead and. Right, pursue things like that. But, but it's, it's like you said, though, Rob. When I first started as mayor, what did we get? One or two grants a year is about all we got. Well, we didn't have them kind of opportunities. Right. And now, now we're getting way full more. So yeah, I don't think that gambling deal was ever in years ago. I don't know when you started that. Well, let's continue on. Yeah. Chris, go ahead. Yeah. Uh, so I'm on page 24. That's our the first page of our general fund. Um, and what you can see on there is uh, the urban renewal revenue, $70,000. That is uh, the TIF money that we borrowed to uh, buy the lots north of the store there. Um, one other thing on there that I want to point out is our local option sales tax, $9,744.22. That's actually two months worth. We got uh, July's on July 1st, and we got August's on July 31st. Mm. So you won't see anything in that for uh, August. Or, for August. Well, we will for September. For September, you will, yes, yeah. but you won't see anything in there for for August. Um, just so you know that. Okay. When does that lot? go through that it's approved that we have it. Is that done? Yeah. We we own them. Okay. We have to certify that debt before December 1st. And then after December 1st, we can go take the money out of the TIF account and we can pay the loan okay. off. Okay. Yeah. What, yeah. what I've, are you... <coughs> I've signed all the quick claim needs. What are you going to do with that house, Grown's house? Then? Well, I through? found out today that... Um, there really is no uh, requirement for us to publish that. It's not real estate because we're not selling the ground. We're just we're just going to try to sell the house to get rid of it. So uh, what we want to do is we want to publish it in the paper um, and just you know see if we can get somebody to buy it. 
to, to move, to move it. it. Yeah. Move it. It'll save us money to, to tear it down and, mm-hmm. you know. And so I know there's different people after the garage, so. Yeah. There's several people that want the garage. Yeah, and so my control. thought is, my thought is, is instead of saying, you know, we'll give a sealed bid on the house and the garage both, let's do a sealed bid on the house and a yeah, sealed bid on the garage. I think we separate. would get, I think we would get more money. Yeah, you want to keep that separate. Yeah. yeah. Got no reason if they want it, let them bid them both. Right. I, I agree with that, Gary. But I thought we had to have, I thought we had to have that, that. Uh, Since it's city owned that you had to. I thought we had to. Yeah, I know. What publish that it. for a certain amount of time. So have a 20 day period. Yeah. 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 But we don't, but have, we don't have that requirement because it's not actually real estate. If the land went with it, then it would be real estate. Well, it's be, just, oh, okay, I see. It's just mean. a house. Yeah, so it's, it's just, just a house. Yeah. It's like when we sell equipment, we have to publish that for sale. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. But this doesn't qualify under that. Those guidelines. <clears throat> well, you know, and I, I think equipment would kind of fall the same way. I don't think we have to publish it, but I think if we don't, we would get questioned about our ethics. Yeah, you know, I was going to say. I thought I was always told we had to publish that for sale if we have any equipment for sale. And I think somebody says that we have to publish it that way we don't get dinged. Chewed out, yeah. Okay, that's fine. So Still get chewed out. give everybody give everybody a fair chance, basically. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on, Chris. Yeah. Uh, so if you look at the top of page twenty-five, you'll see police, other salaries, and generally, uh, our police costs are four thousand dollars a month. Well, that extra five hundred dollars is from right. the races, figure right? And so, uh, Franny and I talked a little bit about that today. <clears throat> We're gonna we're gonna need to get all of the bills that we paid, and we're gonna need to go to the farm festival group at the end of the year, and just tell them, you know, you're gonna have to pay the contractual services. I for think the... I think they're gonna have to pay for some or all of you know the extras because uh, we do because yeah. we do have to pay for uh, extra insurance mm-hmm. for each race. Uh, well, them races they say I had three cough star last time. Why would you need three? Two should do that. Is there any reason to have three cops at a figure eight? Well, here's the, here's the thing, they Gary. Tell me that one. They want to watch the race. Here's they the want thing. to watch the race. The ones watching the race with the two of them. Whatever. That's I'm not. I'm not. The last one was during water carnival. You <laughs> should have been over there. Yeah. Well, I think they had. <laughs> anyway, I just was wondering about it. I don't know if it's due to the size of the crowd. I, they said, I a, talked to somebody and says there's no reason to have more than two. Yeah, was that somebody a cop? No, but there's oh. co- I talked to the cop, and he said you don't need more than two. <laughs> he was okay. in, he got a haircut, I says, well, how come you got, well, I don't know, we just we just got three. So, we could check on that, there ain't much use of having three if you don't need them. No, well, I agree with you. You know, I don't know, it's, two cops should be able to handle that broader crowd we got. But either way, I think we yeah. need to talk to Farm Festival, yeah. Yeah. Farm Festival yeah. Committee and, and talk to them about the police. And the insurance. So oh, after right. this, well, cause. it's kind of like upstairs. You know, we started out. We we were paying all the bills. They were taking in money upstairs, and they were making some money out of it. You know, and then slowly but surely, now we pay uh, the salary upstairs. There, you know, we didn't do that ten years ago. We do that now. We've evolved into that. Oh, we just started because doing we, that about three years yeah, ago. Yeah, we found out they could handle it, you know, and they <clears> didn't <throat> have too much money in the bank. They, so, you know, as you as you start working into this, we need to start letting them know what the bills are, and then letting them, you know, yeah. letting them start absorbing. And they do they do money. make money on the races, you know. Yeah, uh, they uh, do make money. We don't have to be the Santa Claus. Put it that way. I understand that, but you know, otherwise, the other side of it is the city wants to promote it. Too, well, so, yeah, we're, so I think we are. Maybe we don't need to dump all of them on them at once, but no, they need to start figuring them into their expenses as they go, a little bit at a time. That way, if their so, ticket prices have to go up, they have to go yeah, up. And, which, yeah, it costs extra fifty cents to cover them cops. <clears throat> yeah, so be it. Those are the things that you know. I mean, we still want them to make money, and we still want them to do it. So yeah. it's something that we can look at and, and work with them as we're. You know, we as a board upstairs decided we would start paying for the wages and Something. see where that, you know, because we had a, quite frankly, we had a business upstairs that just had no expenses. You know, it was pretty you can easy, make money yeah. pretty easy to run. Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. 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 Everything's getting paid for. Yeah. I know. <laughs> anyway. Okay, Chris. So, that's all I got on that page. Um, page 26 then. Uh, 
park renovation expense there, that $5,500. The majority of that is uh, the sod, <clears throat> which I don't know if you guys have seen it lately, but it looks really good. It's coming along. And, it's coming. I mean, thanks and for doing the watering. I'm telling you, <laughs> I'm telling you that the the grass seed. I threw some grass seed in there that too. That's pretty good too. That's not growing real good, but the weeds are growing damn good. Yeah. So, uh, the weeds so you can't you can't spray that yet. Because we're gonna new seeding out. No, we can't spray it yet. But we're gonna go pull all those weeds and we're gonna send them back to Dell's. <laughs> See if we can get a, get a rebate. Fun. Rebate on that. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, Lynn's in charge of that. <laughs> yeah, she's in charge of getting people together to pull weeds. I suspect we'll get something then. We'll get something, but I doubt it'll be a rebate. Uh, so uh, recreation expenses that you know that's about done. We got two more days of the three more days of the pool, and it's closed. So um, good for us, bad for the kids. Uh, cemetery. Oh, that looks a lot better too. Yeah, since I got. Sprayed, uh, I oh, I did too. I got a compliment from several. I got about five compliments. They called me at the office. Really? And, uh, yeah. Did Going they complain up there at the country store no more? They said that the cemetery is really looking <laughs> fan damn fantastic. Yeah, you can tell where he missed a, a little spot. Oh, yeah. Jakers Cripes, you can tell it. Oh, really? Oh, God, yes. It's Where's that at? North, uh, north end up there towards where you go up and then it goes across and comes down. He missed a little spot. So in the middle, about a quarter of this table, and that that, that clover is just as goddamn green <laughs> as a gourd right there. Uh, you can you can uh, see it. And I don't know how he out. did it. He must have turned because you can see it just kind of. <laughs> so we need the foam to spray out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, that, it's ran out gravestones. I guess it worked. <laughs> oh, Chris. Yeah, that's good. Uh, yeah, the middle of page twenty-seven, urban renewal and development, sixty-four thousand eight hundred and two dollars and fifty cents. That's all the lots. Uh, sixty-four thousand five hundred, and then there was a little bit of expense after that. Um, City Hall, I don't see anything really big there. Road use fund, that's just, uh, you know, normal expenses in there. Uh, and if you look at our road use taxes, that $8,421, that's going to be our normal now. You know, it used to be about six and a half to 7,000. or something, yeah. Yeah, and now it's going to be, now it's going to be 8,400 due to the, uh, tax, tax increase. No, the gas increase. Yeah, the yeah. gas tax increase. So that's good too for us because we can always spend road money. Um, TIF, like I said, we'll be getting some. We'll be getting some well money in here at the end of the um, well, October, sometime in October. Usually is when that comes in. So that'll all go into our uh, general fund. We've got enough money in here to pay our rebates. We've got. One more payment to Corn Belt. Um, let's see, three more payments to Cookies, and uh, I think Cooks maybe has two more payments. So. Boy, that'll help. Yeah, I'll get that really off. Then. Yeah, I was gonna say that'll go away. So. Twenty. The well, the one is done in 2020. The other one's in 2024. But that other one will be good too because that's when uh, WIE's taxes increase. That should start sometime. We got what eleven years in there. How many years have been there? Twenty one it'll start. Ten years now, right? I think fifteen yeah. years was eighty five percent and then it oh, goes to seven. Yeah. So oh five is probably when they kicked it in. Yeah. Oh yeah, four, oh five. Ten okay. Debt service, nothing really changed there. Um so then if you look at our utilities not very spectacular there, but that's because uh, of the low revenue, like you talked about yeah, last, or last meeting. Uh, well, there's a couple different things that happen there. You know, uh, if you talk about revenues, electric is really what we get our revenues on this time of year because uh, air well, conditioning. Air conditioning, but our the revenues that come in in July are June sales, mm -hmm. and there really was no elect uh, no. Um, Air conditioning in June, it was a pretty nice month, so 
you know, next month we'll be seeing a, or this month now in August, we'll be seeing those July. Hold that thought because I want to ask a question. Anybody got low water pressure at the house? No. No. You mean in the bathroom, right? No, no. I, Mary turned the... <laughs> Try to be serious. Boy, Rob. I am. I am. I am. Don't leave me hanging. Uh, that was good. She turned the washing machine on, and it just barely trickled out. She turned the kitchen sink on. Your check your screen inside your nozzle. Nothing. It ain't neither one of them because both of them are slow. The bathroom sink is slow. The bathroom toilet is slow. Everything feels slow. It, it's like a lost water pressure. Where are you at now? Maybe you got a line break out somewhere. Three oh six. Could be. I was going to talk to Rick tonight. You that, that's, 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 them, where, that's where you're you probably one of them like me that's got those old lead gooseneck coming off of the off of the main. Mm, mine's new. Is it mm -hmm. all the way to the main? Should be because that when that house blew up, they redone ninety five percent of that. They re completely redone. Hmm. Yeah, you're where you're at. That's usually the best pressure. You're about the lowest in town. Yep. You know? well, okay. I don't have a trouble up there, so you should really have pressure there. Right. Just, had, just when I replaced, when I moved in there, that gooseneck that came off of that main out in the street, there was, you couldn't even get a pencil through it. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. And it was lead. It was just a piece of lead coming off of that yeah. to get to my line. Hmm. I think mine's all been changed, Rob, but I'll check on that. Mm -hmm. Okay, continue on, Chris. Sorry. Okay, so I went to page 33 just so we could talk a little bit more about uh, where we're at with our funds uh, by the fund. Um, so if you look at the the bottom two thirds of that, um, you can see that there's thirty one thousand dollars worth of twelve five rebuild material in there, and we don't have any revenue for that right now, like I talked about. So, so you know that's that's the reason why we didn't make any money last month in our uh, electric fund. Part of the reason uh, because everything else is pretty normal. Um, I think our electric purchase was probably up just a little bit uh, because of the because of the warm month in July so and Hallett's run strong Hallett's Hallett's is yeah they're our horse right now yeah. they, oh, good thing are, we got them keep them going. we spent some money down there too so yeah um, so then you go to 34 natural gas fund and uh, we actually made a little money here um, not a lot we had some some contractual services and some subscriptions that we had to pay for uh, and and really the only thing that we have going for us this time of year is WIE and we make between seven and eight thousand dollars a month on their transmission charges so I've had one therm the last two months so either I got a damn slow leak oh you might have a leak you don't have you don't have a water water heater that you use no no, no. maybe your pilot lights Getting a little bad. Yeah, you think? <laughs> <laughs> kind of like that little water pressure. Yeah. 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 Water pressure. Good, you ain't picking on me for a change, Randy. Do you have a hot water heater on there? Or not? No. Uh, I'll have Rick come up and look at that. Yeah, there's. Because that can happen at the. Well, at the that's what I figured. I, when leak. I seen that again, I thought, oh, I bet you we got a little leak somewhere. One Can't be third. big, but no, one third. One third, yeah. It's not a match, you should be able to find her. Yeah. yeah. You can smell it. So when there's Water. a ga natural gas leak out there, you can smell oh, it in that hallway there, that alleyway. Wow. Yeah, you can usually smell it pretty good. Okay, page 35, our water. Um, water actually made a little money last month, and uh, it'll that'll continue to make money. Um, now that we've got our CDBG project complete, complete, and uh, the twenty-two hundred dollars that you see down there for the CDBG expense, I, I thought, what the hell could that be? But that's our uh, that's getting our generator building put together and hooked oh, up. Okay, so yeah. I didn't know. So if now that, that was the grass or if that was what that was. For no, sure. that's the generator, and so that now that's done, and so that project is is done. We shouldn't have any other expense in there anymore. So hopefully. We started to generate up yet, Chris Trier down there. Says we got. You know, I don't know if they have. Uh, I know it runs. Yeah, yeah. we had a run. We had a run. Maybe a couple they of test times. it once a while. Just to, yeah, I should yeah. have a one, once a month test to it though. Yeah. 
I know Rick and I talked about that, but I don't remember if he uh, if he's had Myron do that or not yet. Sewer. Actually made a little money there too, but we don't want to talk too big about that one because we got this project that we got to do up here on the street. We'll be in the hole when that one's done. So, well, when that project's done, it shouldn't be too. That shouldn't be too terribly bad. We got to get a couple hundred feet of pipe. That shouldn't be, you know. We had that blocked off yet? Couple Is there a reason for that? Well, with the hole driving on it, she's yeah. still going to her. Driveway. No, but I mean, it's just been there about a week and a half too. No, now. you just don't want trucks driving. That, there's a hole too there. Well, it's just mended it over. It's just done. No, it. that no. it's not done, Gary. Because oh. no. when we got that big rain again, then it then it, it pushed that water went down in there and it pushed back up and it moved that concrete. You see out. that concrete? Oh, right. She's got up and on. That was strange. <laughs> and actually, Rick was out when it was raining, and he said it moved up about this far. Oh wow! So it was it moved it up a long way. So wow, there's a, a restriction down below that somewhere. Yeah, there's a lot of pressure on that. It must be restricted. We didn't have that heavy of rain lately. Well, this was. But look at all the water that goes down through. I know. This well, was right it. after it was done. Yeah, I was gonna say. Yeah. This Do we have that much rain right after this it was done? Yeah, there was that, that three down inch. Down. Yeah, I know where it goes. <laughs> Your fault. That. You want it done? I know it. <laughs> I'm still happy. It doesn't end up in my basement. <laughs> That's right. He don't care. Okay, so then we'll go to garbage and uh, we'll look and see that that one looks terrible. Uh, contractual services and, and we got our new bill now starting in July and that was what, do you remember, Lynn, a little over $5,000 mm -hmm. for, uh, for our tipping fees. Mm -hmm. Or if actually it's our... 5100 Yeah, something, something like that. that. So that's about $600 more than normal uh, than we had our just our regular tipping fees on there. So... so yeah, that's the five thousand dollars that we're in the hole is our contract there so so unless you guys want me to bore you some more questions for chris um, they can't all be good otherwise we'd take something will that five dollar be picked back up with our income i think gary it will um but i don't think well i don't think we can end the year above water um, I'm just thinking if it was if it was three thousand dollars, I think we'd be able to. But you know, we've got uh, that five thousand dollars. We'll have every quarter, so every three months. I don't. I'm not sure we can make two thousand dollars a month. Yeah, we may have to raise that. I hate to say that, but we may have to bring that up just a little bit. There's no no reason going backwards on. Something that should control its own destiny. I mean, well, Franny's it's been, not a big deal, but I'm just saying. Franny's been on longer than I have, and I've been on six years, and I tell you what, I've never seen it above water yet. Yeah. <laughs> but we, you, you know, the sad part about this deal is if, if a truck goes down, we're, we're screwed. Done. We're screwed. You know, we really we just, should be looking at just farming it out. We just. I think you're right, Franny. I mean, if a truck goes down, then we just farm it out. Yeah, we're that's done. Basically, yeah. That's basically what you do. Yeah, really. But I think, you know, we probably want to do something before that, because if the truck goes down, then they pretty much got their thumb on us then. Yeah. You know, but now we can. Negotiate a little better. Yeah, a little bit. Do you want me to talk to Rudd? I think we probably should. Yeah, I mean, sometimes I don't need he, he uh, shot a Sac City a deal and they turned it down. They wanted they wanted to keep their garbage and he was going to be cheaper than what they were going to be. Yeah, and you know why I don't know, but well, you know, you know we've, we've talked about that a little bit here too, Rob. And Rob's got a good point. You know, when we do our garbage, we get a, we get one day that we get to keep everybody busy. Yeah. You know, and it's not like they're not busy the rest of the days, but it's just it just helps us out yeah. in those times when we don't have a lot of mowing and that kind of stuff to do. Yeah. You know? So I mean, that, there was one day when it could have been a pretty tragic deal too, but yes, yeah. he was pretty smart and avoided it. We've got a lot of extracurricular going on yeah. with the other stuff. Yeah. You know that we've got the garbage and you've got the recycling, then you've got other yeah. stuff. Yeah. You know, there's always another group there that we do a pretty good job of taking care of our citizens and for electrical. Two thousand dollars a month, well, three thousand dollars a month. Well, that's not a bad price. He's talking about pay. like maybe a yeah. couch here or you know, oh yeah, that kind of thing. But yeah, you know, if they're not on the garbage, they could be doing maybe some more electrical upgrades. They could be maybe they're fixing a water leak. Maybe they're you true. But, you, you, know, you don't know where they're going to be at. We maybe have one less less uh, kid in the summer. I'm still we, saying, you know, you know, there's but, things we will, could change around. You know, but you know, you, you still got to provide services to your people. That's of right. course. And if it only costs us at the end of the year, if it only costs us five to eight thousand dollars, then I think it's worth it. I think it should pay for itself. <clears throat> True. 
but let's let's don't raise the rate and then say, well, we needed to do it because, you know, let's let's prove that we need to do it. First. Well, I understand that, but because we're we're still going to be able to. You're in the lab fill up there, and uh, you know things are going to go up. Well, yeah, that's because the tipping fees have already went that's up. What we're that's what Chris just told you. The tipping fees have already went up. Yeah. Now, Frank, just kind of ballpark it off the top of your head. What would a garbage truck, if you took, I'm sure we can save the, the back end, can't we? But we just have to buy a. You could, but it ain't all you're doing is putting a Band-Aid on a new truck. Okay. You know. So. I expect you're probably going to leave it probably right around 180. Yeah. Wow. Thousand somewhere in there. No you kidding. Might guess. 150 at least. Yeah, at least. Yeah. And then you got to maintain it. Got to put fuel in it. I think Rob's right. I think maybe we better look at farming her out. I, I don't think I Rob said that. that. I said that we need to provide a service to our people. You know, yeah. we need to juggle the numbers first and look at them before we go ahead and say, well, it's, we're talking. We're abandoning all this because uh, I think that our people. Get a pretty good deal out of it, yes. But we make money off the electricity and the natural gas, and if we can come close to breaking even on this. We're pulling this. a lot of electric now with a new rebuilding I'm project, saying. so we don't have a lot of electric money available. Right, and electric's not what makes us our money right now, anyway. Yeah. Nope. It's an well, gas. I think you could argue well, all we night. We used to always make $100,000 on that. Go check, see what's what they would call it for, and, sure. and go. And just get so we got the figures. You bet. I mean, it ain't going to do any good to keep going back and forth till we mm -hmm. know what the heck the deal well, is. Well, it's, it's like Rob said. Though, where you're at. We got yeah. to we got to supply the best. Yeah, I, the, the I, best I, services for the citizens of I, I agree with that, mm -hmm. but you know, let's see. Yeah, we don't need to compare go, things a little. We bit. don't need to go thirty thousand dollars in the hole to do it. I mean, no. that's what we do with the swimming pool. Yeah. So we can't have, we can't have all these holes, guys. Hopefully well, we'll cut that whole plug okay. a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> we, don't have, we don't have that okay, swimming pool. We're gonna have some dead kids. Motion to approve, approve the clerk's report. I'll make that motion. We approve the clerk's approve the clerk's report. Second. I'll second it. Moved and seconded to approve the clerk's report. All in favor, say aye. 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 All opposed, nay. Building permit. <clears throat> is this for Franny Ori? Yeah. Yeah. Is it on here? I didn't even look. Chris. Yeah. 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 Well, and well, uh, Gail, Gail got to it this weekend, and so he wrote up that he thought it looked okay. <coughs> I seconded. Moved and seconded to approve the uh, building permit for Franny Ori. All in favor, say aye. 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 All opposed, nay. Discuss and approve Chris Lawler 90 day review. Yeah, so I sat down with Rick and talked about Chris and how he was doing. And then I sat down with Myron and did the same thing. And then I sat down with Chris and did the same thing. And uh, seems like, you know, there's really only one thing that, that uh, everybody thought that Chris needed to work on a little bit. I mean, obviously, he needs to work on, you know, knowing what he's doing. But uh, one of the things that um, Myron suggested he worked on is slow down. And, and when you're doing electric rebuild stuff, you can't do uh, A and then move on to E and think the project is done. You know, he said that you can hurt yourself doing that. And so he's talked to Chris about that a little bit. And... Uh, so, you know, we, Chris and I talked about that also, and I, I told Myron, you know, I would rather have to slow somebody down than try to speed them up, you know, by a long shot. And, and obviously you don't want to, uh, you don't want somebody to, to be going too fast and get hurt uh, or killed. But, um, I mean, if I, if I had to hire somebody, I would say, give me the guy who I need to slow down, not the guy who I need to speed up. Um, so... You know, Chris and I talked about that. Well, that was the thing. That was the thing that I told Chris that I saw. Uh, you know, he uh, he comes to work on time. He doesn't go to go to lunch early and come back from lunch late. He doesn't leave early. Uh, he's 
always he's always at work when work starts and he's always he always leaves when work's done. So that's the part I like. You know, I don't you don't want to see somebody coming to work late and, and leaving early because then you know you can kind of tell that they don't care for what they're doing. Rob, you got a recommendation? <clears throat> for what? Salary increase? I don't know. I, you know, I know that we're paying them thirteen dollars an hour, and we talked about thirteen fifty. Thirteen fifty. Talk about getting to what? Uh, well, we we actually we actually start we actually talked about starting at fifteen dollars between fifteen and eighteen, and uh, we decided that we should make him work for mm -hmm. you know that. And so I don't know. I, I mean, we've talked about fifty cents. We've talked about a dollar. Gary, your input? I don't think fourteen dollars. I think anywhere between fifteen and dollars is not out of line. Mm -hmm. Because if he's doing a good job, showing up for work, WIE starts at fourteen dollars an hour. I'm just saying for I think I think it should be I think fourteen is a good number just because somewhere in that area. I mean I don't in, know. He is doing the electrical rebuild now with Myron. Is he going to school yet, Chris? That schooling that Myron wants him to go to? No. Am I yet? Nope. Did you do his journeyman training? No. Granny? <clears throat> I think that's kind of. A I think uh, 50 cents is a, is a pretty good number. You know, we don't want to jump it up too high, and then we don't have a lot of room to move him again. So, yeah. you know, give we kind of give him stair step him, give him some goals. and. Well, and that's know. it's a good thought because in probably January, he'll probably be reevaluated yeah. again. Oh, yeah. for sure. We'll be on the yeah. other page. Well, definitely. So. You know, I guess one of the things we probably should stress to him, you know, we definitely need him to get, get going on this lineman's deal, whatever. You know. And I, you know, I think uh, I think everybody wants him to get that done now. Mm -hmm. But part of that is, is that you have to you have to There's work so many hours. To, or, well, you have to work at that to even understand what you're going yeah. there for. And so, you know, I mean, he's only he only started in May. Mm -hmm. You know, he's only been here for two months. So, I don't think we need to I don't think we need to get him to lineman school now. I think we need to wait. You know. They'll have the first year and see. Yeah, I mean, you know, maybe maybe later on, later on this year into the winter time. Get a year into him. Think? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Get a year into him. Well, I'm thinking six months, maybe, Franny. But but maybe even this winter we can we can start working into some of that stuff. You know, Albert. Um, but Albert, your true sense? I think fifty cents increase is enough for right now because like January it's going to come again. Right. And I agree with that. I think too, if he goes to school in, in January or whenever, he can't do what he, you know, the electrical right, digging and all that, just won't be doing yeah. schooling. Yeah, I, I think that's, uh, I think that's something that we need to do. On the job training is better luck teacher there is. By far. And Myron is a good teacher, but that's where he's got to learn to listen to what Myron tells him and yeah. not try to jump ahead of the situation go from A, B, C, D on down the line in which he tries to jump ahead once in a while. And he could get burnt. And I think, I think right now is the best time to learn that because everything that he's working on is dead. Mm -hmm. yeah, you know, in my opinion, that's the best time to be training, obviously. So. Well, I would entertain a motion. Make a motion to adjourn. No. Oh, oh, that's right. Damn. Increase it to 50 cents. Yeah, please. Per hour. I'll second it. Moved and seconded to uh, give Chris Lawler, or it's actually John Lawler, a 50 cent increase in pay, effective. Effective. August 1st. August 1. August 4th really is his 90 days, so it, it needs to be retro back to that. Okay. Okay, back to August. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed nay. Last thing on the agenda is the mower deck. Chris uh, talked to me a little bit before meeting. I think he's got something really good to say about this. So, Yeah, Chris, you know, we talked a little bit about finding out what a deck would cost. Uh, and we, we weren't really even going to try to do that. They, Haley's wasn't. 
coming forward with that information as fast as we wanted them to. But the way it worked out, uh, we asked them to, to lease a, a mower. So they brought up a mower exactly like the one that we have, only it's yellow. <coughs> so uh, Rick took it out and mowed with it and he, you know, he loved it. So he started looking at the deck and the deck on that thing is way better than the deck we got with the blue mower. So he said, well, we're, you know, let's see what they'll sell it to us for. And, uh, the deck, huh? Yeah, so uh, they'll, they'll sell us this deck that we've got on our mower because we took it off of that mower and put it on our mower just to see if it fit. I see that we and it does. deck on there. It fits it just fine. It looks good. Uh, $4,400 for a deck, uh, 13800 something for a mower. Um, Rick seems to think that this will work for a couple more years, you know. Nobody ever knows when that yeah. mower is going to die, but the deck, he says the deck is way, way better built than the, than the one that we've got, so. Yeah. Technology's come a long ways. But yeah, I'm, I'm concerned, you know, is the motor going to last, but you don't know. Yeah. Hell, I got a is motor. That a, that's a diesel, right? Yeah, the one that we've got is a diesel. It would change oil and everything. One thing about it, if, if something goes plunk on that motor, motor or whatever, we buy another one like it, we've got a spare deck. we got a deck. Yeah, we, we get ten years out of or whatever. How long we, have we ever figured out how long we had that more yet? No, seven is kind seven. of the number that's yeah. coming up for everybody. But even then, that's mm. yeah. We just buy the more. We don't have to buy the deck. Probably. Well, I mean, if that one, God, I ain't sold a lot for one. Yeah. Well, you we see, we've had two of those. Oh, we've had two blue yeah. ones. Yeah. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. So we're spending eighteen hundred dollars a year on a mower. Yeah. Not quite two thousand. Better not complain. That's pretty reasonable. That's on one of them. Yeah. Do we have to we have a motion for that? Yes, we have to have a motion for that. Yes. Yeah, we do. If we're going to buy it, if if we're just going to continue to lease it, then yeah, I'll make the motion. Spend some money tonight. <laughs> buy the deck for the more. Deck. Second. I'll second that. Moved and seconded to approve the purchase of a deck for the Ford diesel lawnmower. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed nay. Did you need a motion on your low water pressure? <laughs> yeah, I wish I could. <laughs> Anything in the top? He stressed deck. <laughs> deck. Make the motion with your... Oh, hang on. I want to find out if there's anything in the public forum. Actually, there is one thing that I wanted to talk about. At the last meeting, uh, it was brought up that our city ordinances should be checked to see if they reflect uh, modern construction. Um, I called Lakeview and uh, actually sent an email to six or eight cities. Uh, didn't hear anything back from any of those. I called Lakeview, talked to Scott. He said that their height restriction is 15 feet. He said we brought that over from Glidden, so Glidden's is the same way. So, Okay. Well, please be checked on it. I have nothing but the house up there. Are we doing anything in the house? What do you What do you come up with that other house, Chris? Anything in that? One? Yeah, she. Uh, I tried calling her again the other day. Um, I don't know if she wasn't home or what, but uh, she talked like she wanted to give it to the state or something. You know, I think she's. I think she's finally figuring out that it's not worth anything, and that it's actually going to cost her money to get rid of it. So, uh, I tried to call her mm, Thursday or Friday last week. I couldn't get a hold of her. But I'm going to try to talk her into, instead of giving it to the state, give it to us. That's the one next to Bill and Mike. Yeah. Yeah, we, it's got to be knocked down. It's just junk. Because, I, I mean, I don't know what the state does with them, but they own one out there on the highway. Can't and they make just it. go in there and drop a cigarette? And they haven't done a damn thing, not with the recorder well, going again. Yeah. <laughs> and then call Franny three hours later. We got a little water pressure. We got a little water pressure. Gotta go yeah. check it. Yeah. 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 A little water pressure up in that area. Can we get it out? Don't write anything about low water pressure in the minutes, please. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, Lynn. Uh, we got, there's another one by, by Lynn's up there we should try to do something about, too. A two story? Yes. Some people have been living there, though, either. Uh huh. No. Well, it's empty now. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, there's people living in there. Well, they're somebody, back in there again? There's somebody there's back in there. Sure, see, well, you got people living it's pretty hard to condemn it. <laughs> what about no, we don't know if they're actual people. Yeah. Are they ain't people? <laughs> I'm not sure what they are. Anything else for the public forum? Rodents? Vermin? Whatever. Now, Albert.
I make a motion we adjourn. Franny? I'd second that. Moved and uh, seconded to adjourn the meeting. All in favor say aye. 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 I'll oppose nay. Meeting adjourned.